Hey guys, we're back here at the desk here with the first annual Marissa Mitzwing Cradle Board Champion, Emery Assiniboine of the Nikanit Cree Nation as well, Long Plain First Nation. Yeah. How, how was that? It was so beautiful. The first song, it was already like, it was just a sense of like a reclamation of our original practices you as betcha. Indigenous mothers. Must have been something else, you know, we're out here watching the grand entry, all the cradle boards are coming in, obviously we heard uh, the emotion from Patrick yeah. and uh, you know, it, it's something else to, to bring these styles of dances. From, all, from what I know, and I've been around Powell a long time, first ever special for cradle board. Yeah, and so I'm just finishing up uh, my Masters of Indigenous Social Work right now. Okay. And my focus is, was kind of on that, like what was our original practices prior to colonization? And I'm like, this is it. If we had to bring it to power, this was it. All about family and that connection. And including our children in, in our spaces of, of ceremony and culture and trade. You betcha. I think long ago in the, some of the stories that we hear, you know, and we see it today with the leadership in many of our communities, we see a lot of uh, female council, we see a lot of female chiefs coming. But I think long ago, from time immemorial, it was our matriarchs that did a lot of the work, a lot of, carried a lot of the word and took leadership roles in the tribe. Yeah, totally. So um, this is your first time. Uh, tell us a little about your cradle board and how uh, you guys put that together. So we started this on Monday. <laughs> and I said, if we get it done in time, then, then I'll dance in it. But if not, then it wasn't meant to be. Yeah. And we finished it up at 1.30 last night. So. Good stuff. And it looks amazing. <laughs> She's got all these sequins. Yeah. I seen it from up here in the booth. And she was getting ready. And all the ladies were heading down yes. there. Her cradle board, I swear, was <laughs> sparkling by far. Yeah, and so I tried to make it to match my current, like my beadwork that I wear now. And part of it, like these two feathers on here are my daughter's baby feathers. And okay. so it's giving that honoring to, to our own children. And we've yet to make one for our own children. But so next baby. <laughs> there, going she's going to have a cradle board all set to go. <laughs> hey, this is your champion, Emery Sinaboy. Yes. Congratulations. Yes. Thank you so much. I just want to say it was amazing, and I hope they continue on bringing our babies back to our spaces and places of ceremony. Definitely. Yes. Back to the floor, guys. <laughs>